And today I'm canning some, they call it sweet chili sauce. You know the one that you dip on your spring roll, your egg rolls, your lumpia. Yeah. Lumpia is my style. Anyway, yeah. uh, so I already made it. I did not do the the whatever the start process of this thing because I was so tired. Remove the seeds and chop them. So much work. But anyway, so now I already did it and my Javi has camera on her in his hand so he's gonna do it so this is what I did first so I have to uh, make it sure sanitize sanitize my my canning jars to use so I use the oven to sanitize it you know I put it to 500 degrees for oh, probably almost 10 to 15 minutes I think I did not really but it was there for a long time already and then uh, here's my lids I used the old uh, what do you call this the ring I used the old ring not this one the one over there if you see it has a little bit of rusting thing it's okay you can use the ring only for you know to reuse it because especially right now we're out it's 2020 everything is out of canning jars and all that thing but i have so many jars that i'm reusing it and also i bought a lot before when it's on sale i'm a good uh sale person you know whatever is they're promoting it anyway so i did i did have plenty of rings I keep the old rings in case I don't have enough so now it's pretty useful very very useful to use it because they're out totally out no store that I send probably online you can buy it but you don't have time for those to wait it's time so here you go I'm making I'll tell you the peppers that are available this is from my friend uh, is banana hot peppers and the cayenne and I also have few ha jalapeno and I don't know what else over there at my garden but my garden of peppers are not doing very good so my friend give me some and here you go so I'm already ready actually I already did start and I already put some here see this is the one to bed it they call it bed and for 15 to 20 minutes then it's sealed for sure uh, you know to make it sure also that it will seal and you can use it for a year or two years and here you go this is the one it's full a while ago now uh, it's been but anyway that, that's it well sweet chili sauce of course when it's sweet there is a sweet on the one but anyway it's just like pickling really but uh, the one I mix today I don't have no I don't have no measuring because this is my first time making it and so I just keep tasting it so what I did I've mixed some uh, I have those uh, almost a trash bag this trash bag here of uh, spicy peppers hot peppers different kinds and we we and we we de-seed it get the seeds on that one and also so we I use my blender to make it chop small and then after that one I put I boiled some water no actually I did not even make, uh, count it. I just almost like like w one cup of one cup of uh, vinegar, white vinegar. Then I mix it with one, maybe a quarter of water every one cup of vinegar. Then the sugar for all this thing, I just put probably six cups of sugar for all, till this one. 
and with um, also whatever fruit juice I have that from pineapple and peach is ax I really accidentally did it put the peach uh, juice I did not know it was uh, <laughs> It was peach because it looks like a pineapple. But when I taste it out, I said, I think I, you can use it. But oh my, it's amazing. It tastes really, really good. I think this tastes like that, like the pineapple taste because it's also like mango taste, the peach. So probably the mango also is a good to mix it with this. I was even thinking that too. There are so many in my mind mixing what can I do to make sweet chili sauce really you can do a lot of things you know when you like cooking your imagination goes so far but anyway here you go so now i'm gonna get me some of uh some of these jars that i already bake it you know just to sanitize it is that the word to use anyway actually i'm not gonna use that one to pull because it's not to I'm just gonna use this one and like that. Like that. I got different sizes. This one. This one, this is a pint. And I think it's also a pint size. And I also have a cork. I burned my little finger a while ago. But anyway, so I'm gonna start it right now. So what I did, put this one here. Ooh, ha! <laughs> I'm top. Then I get this one. have to they said an inch so I'll usually leave the space I put the whatever I'm canning till this the neck the first line and you remove that one I get my paper towel leave it on the hot water and I try to get whatever exists if there is some in there just to make it sure and I have this one the magnetic step just put it here that way one. usually I use this one but right now it's I, I can handle the heat to put it there like this see we're just gonna take a bath there <laughs> Compared to the other one, this is a small mouth. This one is a wide mouth. So the, the lid is a small one, but the lid is totally way wider. So, but I already have some over there boiled because you have to boil it and it's also help it to soften whatever that sealer in there. And then it sealed more quicker. So here you go. But anyway, it's too expensive to buy this to the store so this year i said why just not make it right i said everything you can find it at youtube and it did i did find it in youtube a good one no i just watch it so many different kinds of chef in there and i just pull all together their ideas on my own ideas some they just have plain vinegar water and uh, hot peppers, sugar, and some use uh, pineapple, water, vinegar also. And me, I accidentally put a uh, <laughs> sauce uh, juice for uh, from my peach because I thought it was uh, it was the pineapple. Now I have three different kinds in here. Oh, and my hubby taste this one and it was amazing again when he likes it he don't want to share it if 
if I share it to you, I have to give it to you secretly. <laughs> anyway, it's really nice. I've been counting a lot of different things too. And I usually don't plan to video, so I don't have step-by-step -step stuff. But it's just nice to encourage you guys to make your own, you know, especially on this pandemic that you cannot buy easily to the store or go to the store easy so you just have to do it and say see this one has a little bit rust it's okay because uh when it already sealed you can really remove the this ring you can, you can remove the ring and just leave it you know just delete as long as it's sealed see that's it and you just have to tie it like you know tight but not too tight and here you go that one it's ready so now I'm gonna use I think the big one for now since so here you go I hope you like it and it's really delicious when I make it I have to make it sure it's delicious Thank you for watching and next time what I make because I have more harvest coming up from my garden and my friends gardens for peppers I'm gonna make it sure make a measurement for so much or uh, so many you know when you make a bunch so you, you guys could really do the same thing because I don't like making like one cup at a time or you know I make like this a bunch because I usually, I was raised in a big family. Ten kids in the family. So my mom always cook a lot. Anyway, thank you for watching. God bless and enjoy gardening and cooking. Okie dokie. <laughs>